Orthanc is a Russian black metal band, and, and this is their second full length that they've named after the band, but they sort of redacted the first one back in, uh, I think in 2016 or so, they recorded a, uh, a sort of rebirth of the band. It they, they just wasn't quite right. It didn't fit the vision of the, uh, the, the main person behind the group, and so they... He basically pulled together a new crew, and in 2022, they re-recorded it as um, Enslaving and Idolatry. So, that's the thing about this band, is they've always been a little bit uh, unsure of where they want to go with their sound. They began as more of a pagan black metal band in the decidedly Slavic style, which was uh, very folkish. It had uh, a little bit of Bladesworth Hall and Bathory in, in it. And then uh, once some of those members had left, uh, they leaned more into something closer to Catharsis. And their the first version of that LP I had mentioned ended up on Bestial Burst. That's where I'd heard about it before initially. So um, after the re-recording, it seems like they went and approached this record at that level of ideology and it is a, a a large concept record, which is much more in the, uh, I would say, orthodox black metal style. Definitely uh, less so the occult sort of groove and more uh, the distant and dreaming um, Gnostic uh, mindset you'd find in a lot of uh, later orthodox black metal. Um, what we'll do is we'll just get an example of that up front and then we'll continue on with the themes. So the theme here could be summed up as uh, a mixture of Christian Apocrypha and Gnosticism, which are, are obviously very related, and uh, basically the ideology of uh, a Lucifer equivalent in Azazel. And uh, the particulars really matter there, but the general idea is that uh, the Promethean gift of Azazel to the human beings and defiance of God. So that is uh, a very big and broad theme and a very uh, detailed story to convey within four pieces, four long form, about 10 minute, uh, black metal pieces, which um, really do rely on a lot of voicing you'd find in uh, kind of late 2000s Despo Omega for the guitar um, interest, and how that has evolved uh, throughout the 2010s in other bands' hands. So in many ways, this is uh, not so much a melodic record, but certainly one that is about long-form pieces which are transfixing and very detailed. So the, th the thing with this record is there's no real issue with any element of it. It's perfectly performed. The, the, the production values are very stylized, um, but it is very difficult to remember anything but the general voicing and register of the band here because of these long form pieces. And you, what I, I definitely gravitated towards the themes because my mind would go and wander during these longer pieces so it uh they do successfully communicate a very strong dynamic here and the use of erratic and discord discordant discordant rhythms is uh very uh, effective but it this isn't music that you're going to remember the first time you listen to it you might need about 20 times through to really uh learn the story and learn the speech the long form speech of the, of the whole thing is very involved in immersive music. And I particularly enjoyed that, but it still affects my recommendation in terms of uh, whether or not you want uh, a fixation or just a, to create a translate state of mind to consider and meditate over the music you're listening to. These are designed as hymnal pieces. And I think that's an important point to make is that they're meant to be transfixing and meditative in that way. So anyway, Really, it is a thing for the Orthodox Black Metal fan to check out. I think there are some really strong ideas on here. And it does get an, a high recommendation from, from me. It is one of the uh, better releases of 
a very packed April that sort of snuck up at the end out of the corner of my eye, and I, I wanted to talk about it because it is uh, of appreciable quality, and I really like the themes. I think they're well illustrated in both the music and the lyrics. So check that out if that's to your interest, and read the review if you feel like it. Hey, chill. 